Hey everyone, in this video, I will be showing you how you can build and set up a drop shipping store. So in this video, we will be creating a store like this one where you can add your products right here. So let's get started making this website. First of all, you need to know about what is web hosting. So web hosting is a place where all of your website files gonna be stored. So all of your content, including database, your blogs, all of the files gonna be stored on your web hosting. So there are a number of web hosting which you can use for your website but it depends what kind of web hosting you want. In this video I am going to purchase web hosting from Bluehost. So it's the best web hosting service recommended by the WordPress itself. You can visit bluehost.com by the given link in the description. After visiting Bluehost you have to click on get started and here you will see all the plans. So here you can select plan for your website. So there is basic plan, plus plan and two more plan. So it depends on you what kind of website you want to create. If you are going to create one website and you don't need much storage, then you should basically go for the basic package. It will cost you less. But if you want to create more than one website and you want unlimited storage, then you can go for the plus plan. You don't need to choose the, the remaining plans because these both plan will, will work good for you. So I'm in this case, I'm going to choose the basic plan. So click select. After that, here you can create a domain name for you. So what is the domain name? For example, you are visiting a site by the name like youtube.com, google.com. The name, it is called the domain name. So here you can search for your domain name. Let's suppose we want to search for how to website and make sure you will select com first if it isn't available then you can choose another option as well so i'm going to click next and it will search it's available or not as you can see it's not available so it's showing some more suggestion which you can choose so you can choose how to website dot online and all of these but you can search again and make sure that your domain name is easy to remember and easy to type it don't should be like this one so no one could no one can remember this so keep it simple as it can so let's choose this one and here you will see and here you can see the domain name is online is available now here you can simply sign in the google or you can put your details right here you can put first name last name business name and your phone number and email address and from here you can check package information in default it's selected up to 36 months but you can choose at least for 12 months but if you will choose for 36 months you will have to pay less but if you choose for 12 months you will be charged higher so it depends on you what 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 package you choose for your website so i'm going to choose this package right here and scroll down and from the package extras you have to simply uncheck these both because you don't need these plugins uh, basically we can do this stuff by later okay and from here domain privacy plus protection if you want to keep your information protected you have to simply keep this check but if you want to uh, decrease your money then you can simply uncheck this one also and keep it turn it off and as you can see your price is reduced okay and from here you have to add some payment information after adding all the information you have to scroll down check this mark and you have to click on submit after clicking submit you will see a payment receipt like this one you have to scroll up and you will see create your account button you have to click on create your account after that you will see a uh, option like this one here you will be have your domain name and you can create a password which you can use for login and create a strong password and after that click on create account and during this you have to verify your email and you have as you can see your account will be verified now 
if you visit Bluehost, you will see a pop-up like this one. Your account is ready to go. Now you can log in. So click on go to login. And you will see a page like this one. Here you can put your domain name and the password which you have created before. And after putting the information, you have to click on login. And here you will see a pop-up create your website. So you have to simply click on create your website. After that, you will see some options which you which you can choose or you can simply skip. So I'm going to skip these steps. And here you can also choose a category for your website or you can simply skip and choose a category later. But you can choose here as well. And here again, click on skip this step. Here it's asking for how would you like to build your WordPress site? So basically there are two main options which you can use to create your WordPress site. First one is using WordPress only and second one is using Bluehost website builder. If you want to save your time then you can choose the second option but I want to choose this one. In the first option I can choose my own template and make it look like as I want. So here you can put your site name. So I'm gonna say to how to uh, okay how to drop ship after putting site name you have to click next and here you have to simply uncheck this plugin if you don't need and after that you have to click next and it will start installing wordpress on our website so let's wait for the process here you can see here is our wordpress admin panel now we need a theme for our website so let's install a theme by installing a plugin and we will install a plugin from where we can choose a template for our website so let's search for astra and hit enter and here you need to install the first plugin starter templates click on install now and this will provide ready-made templates which you can use for our website these are very elegant and clean so you have to click on active to active this plugin after that you have to scroll down and you have to click here see library and you will be redirected to the website builder page where you can select your website builder page builder here you have to select the elementor it's the best page builder out there after that you will see a number of templates for your website so now first of all you need have to click on the free one after that you can select uh, e-commerce and now there are some templates which you can use for your website so in this case I'm going to choose this template and you have to simply click on import complete site or you can preview the site by clicking here let's preview the site first and it will be open in the new tab where you can see that how it will look so here you can see so to inst install this site you have to click on import complete site and from here you have to answer a simple question here you can pick any option you want and click next and you can hit skip and it will start importing the website theme to our website here you can see our website template has been imported successfully now you can click on view site and here you can see here is our website and you can refresh the page again and the images will be loaded as well as you can see our website is here now if you want to change this text right here you can do this by clicking on edit with elementor and it will load us at the page builder where you can completely edit this site information as you want so here you can completely edit the information that you want to add it okay so let's get started now you can add your website logo you can change these alignments if you want you can do this now we have to import the drop shipping product to our website to do this we will be using this plugin and it's the best plugin which you can try it for free so after visiting this site you can visit this site by the description 
and you have to click on the login or you have to click on the try it free and from there you have to make your account you have to put your email and password and you can make it make account right here after logging in you will see a page like this one so you have to follow what platform do you want to access so here you can select woocommerce because we will be using woocommerce you have to click on access and after that after that you have to put your website domain right here so let's put our website domain out wifi.net and you have to click on add store and here it will authenticate our website install chrome extension click hit ok and here you have to add to chrome as well add extension and it's added now you have to click on again add to store and it will start adding to store and you will see a error like this one first of all you have to go to wordpress admin panel then you have to click on users and from here you can put your information as you want and you can click yourself and you can add your information but you have to go to setting and you can go to permalinks and from here you have to select this section right here you have to click on the post name and hit save changes and after making the changes you have to go back to the desserts and click on the add store and it will start adding store again and here it will open uh, authorization page you have to approve and you must be login as your main user click on approve and it will set up a connection to our website after that you have to link to aliexpress you have to click here and you have to make account on aliexpress and you can make account freely so let's see how it goes and from here you can make account by clicking on the google so let me make account after logging into aliexpress you will see this section right here you have to click to i agree and authorize from here you can pick a package for yourself so in this case i'm going to select the free one so click on get started and in the free package you can run up to three store and you can add up to three thousand products which is good so you have to click on the start tutorial and from here it will show us some suggestion so first you can link your store that we have done before and you can link other stores as well and click next we have link aliexpress also and next and it's showing that you can add products and next and okay hit okay and after that we will set up something right here now okay and it's saying that you don't need to fulfill your orders manually hit okay and click start and here we will set up something in the desserts menu okay now we can go to settings and from here you can add a shipping method it's global which is good you can add a uh, email as well if you want to that you receive your email right here you can if you want to own you have to install plugin and you can get a uh, tracking now it will leave us to this section right here you have to download this plugin and after downloading you have to go to the wordpress admin panel and here you have to click on add new and you can upload the plugin right here and after that you can do the all stuff you have to click on upload plugin you have to click on choose file and you have to select the downloaded file which you have downloaded now so let me upload the file after that you have to click on the install now and it will be installed so as you can see it's installed you have to click on active plugin and your plugin will be activated 
after that you can receive emails on your website right here so it's active now now you can go back and you can enable this option and it will be enabled you can add a uh, tracking you can add notification you can set a pricing rule so let's set a pricing rule so let's suppose you are adding a product which costing about five dollar so you want to add a plus price of about uh, 15 and on sale it will be about 12 okay now you can go to report you can go to wordpress plugin you can download plugin by here as well so after putting all the changes you have to go back to your wordpress admin panel or you can go to products and you can select here import product list and now let's go back to aliexpress to find some product for us now you have to search for aliexpress drop shipping center and you can visit the link by right here and here you will see all the drop shipping product which you can use for your website so now here let's choose a product let's suppose we want to add some t-shirts okay after that hit ok and here let's suppose you want to add some shirts to our website uh, let's choose a shirt so you can apply the filters as well you can hit the colors if you want so let's suppose we want to add this section this product right here so you have selected the product now copy the link and you can go back to the Tether list and you can import the link right here you can hit ok and it will load the product right here from here you have to click on the edit product and here you can edit the title let's suppose we are editing the title right here uh, we are removing the brand and let's suppose you can set a product type you can add a category right here uh, t-shirt okay you can add a tag as well if you want you can select variation and it will be loaded automatically you can change the description if you want you can delete some images you can add new images you can put everything you want so I'm going to keep it as it is you can set images you can change the images if you want you can also set uh, some shipping info but I will suggest you don't need to select any one of these keep it as it is so you have to click on the save and after that you can click here push to WooCommerce and also click here also publish to online store and you have to click on push to WooCommerce and it will be added now okay now let's visit our website now we are at our website now let's go to all products and let's see our product is added or not as you can see here is our product and if you click on the product you will see the description the images all of the images will be right here here you can see here is all images and it's saying this product is currently out of stock and unavailable and you have to do something right here you have to go to setting and from here you can enable tracking as well and you can select the provider let's suppose we are going this one and ok and this one hit save and now let's refresh this page and here you can see here is our information now anyone of you or anyone of your user can buy your product right here and that's how you can simply add your products to your store so it is that simple you can keep adding the products by simply putting a link to your website and after that you have to publish your site you have to click right here coming soon active and from here it will load us a page where you can publish your site so you have to complete some steps you have to you have to complete these steps or you can simply 
click here and you can click here launch your site and your site will be live and you can also restore this page right here and you, you can restore coming soon back so that's how you can publish your site so that's all for now if you have any question you can ask me in comment section so like the video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video